Well, good morning. Today is Saturday, October 6th. It rained yet again, and it's supposed to rain all day, but it's supposed to go up to 75. They said 80, but it's never going to make it that high. On my phone app, it said 75. I'm going to go with that. <coughs> but I really know I'm going to have a loss today. According to my, I forgot what I weighed on the scale last week when I started this challenge with Gina and Carrie. But I think I've lost at least three pounds. I think. I have to look. I'd have to look at older texts to see how how I did. Just a minute. Hopefully, I don't lose you. There, I didn't lose you. I did it right this time. But um, I, I seem to think I lost three pounds, but I'm not sure. But I hate to say that Gina's channel channel challenged us, Carrie and I, to a song. If we win, she should have said when we win, but I have to get this message. I'll be right back. i got to pull over because I don't talk on the phone while I'm driving. Oh, no, I do talk on the phone. I'm talking to you, but I'll be right back. Um, okay, that was a text message I had to answer. I always pull aside for a text message because then I'm going to concentrate completely on the text message. But if I get a phone call, it comes through my phone, and it's like I'm talking to you right now. But anyway, <clears throat> I was talking about my weight loss <clears throat> and Gina's channel page. <laughs> she challenged Carrie and I to a serenade if we ever won the daily challenge. <clears throat> Sorry, my sinuses are always bad when it rains and especially in the morning. But um, I hate to tell you, Paige, but I think you heard your last song from the Gina <clears throat> because Carrie and I are going to start singing. <clears throat> so I'm getting my voice ready <clears throat> because... I had a pretty good loss this morning. I haven't heard from Gina or Carrie yet, but maybe by the end of the video, you might hear a song. Just a clue. I'm pretty confident. Pretty, pretty confident. Um, and on that note, I'd like to make an apology to Brenda Bays because she lost a pound and a half and I forgot to mention her name. Brenda Bays, I am so sorry. I don't know how I missed you. <clears throat> I have to remember that some people post or wait for me on Facebook and some do it like in a private email so I'm gonna have to I don't know that if you do it that way if you, if you want to keep it private that's why I haven't mentioned your name but if you don't mind like when you're doing it on Facebook or or whatever it just might be easier for you to do that way and you really don't care if I mention your name let me know but I figure if you do it on the YouTube everybody sees it anyhow so I guess you don't really have a problem with that but today Enough of this chit chat because we have something important today to celebrate. Today is my firstborn's birthday. He's 46. I know we did his birthday the other day, but today's his birthday. Today's his actual birthday. And it's funny because I always call my kids on the t at the time they were born. But Jimmy was born at 6.35 at night. And if I waited until 6.35 at night to wish him a happy birthday, he'd think I forgot his birthday. Because Christy and Danny were born in the morning. So, I always call Jimmy at 6.35 in the morning to wish him a happy birthday. But he's not working today. And so he said he would appreciate it if I didn't call him at 6.35 in the morning. Because he usually gets up like at 4 for work. So I told him I would call him after my Weight Watchers meeting. Which is like around 9.30, 10 o'clock. And he said that would work out better. So... But he still gets a song, because he does watch my channel. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jimmy. Always in my heart. Always going to be Jimmy to the day he dies. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Oh, I always tell this story, because it's so true. When I dated Jim, his mother always called him Jimmy. And I get so annoyed. I'm thinking, he's a grown man. Why are you calling him Jimmy? And I call Jimmy Jimmy. And he doesn't have a problem with it. Danny, on the other hand, doesn't like being called Danny. I call him Danny, but when I introduce him to anybody, I always call him Dan. I always say, this is my son, Dan. Although he'll always be Danny to me. <laughs> because that's just who I am. And Christy's always Christy. Although Aaron calls her Chris. So, anybody's going to make a nickname for something. But I'm going to do a video sometime today. You probably have already seen it by the time you see this. Um, just t talking about... 
Jimmy's life so far, memories that I have of having him as my son. And I'll let people know right at the beginning that it's not a weight loss video, so they don't have to watch it. But uh, it's just something I, you know, I want to do for him. And if I've always talked about my kids on their birthdays, on my daily vlogs. So I started doing my daily vlogs in October, uh, in 2016. And Jimmy's actual birthday is October 6th. So if you go like 10 16, 10 6 16, and 10 6 17, um, I probably talk about him on those videos. I haven't watched those videos in a long time, but I can't think that I wouldn't have talked about him on his birthday. But anyway. And I forgot to tell you that yesterday we had a total weight loss of 33.8. We're kicking butt this week. I'm telling you, we're really kicking butt. So I think that puts us like right around 125 pounds for the week. We're doing really good. Um, I didn't sleep well last night. I kept waking up. Went to bed with a headache, and I thought, well, you know, when I wake up, it'll go away. Eh, still kind of lingering. And I know it's just because of the weather, but... I don't get headaches. It's one of the very few aches and pains that I don't get. And uh, when I do get them, I feel sorry for people that have migraines because this is just like a, this is just a headache. I can only imagine somebody has a migraine. Oh my gosh. I know that uh, I had somebody that I worked with that got migraines that she wouldn't even be able to come to work. I had a cousin that had to just be in a completely dark room um, and she'd never get out of the bed because she was, oh, here comes the bumpy road. Sorry about it. I try very hard to avoid this, but it just needs to be repaired, as most of the roads in Michigan do. But uh, anyway, so, like mine is just a slight little, eh, you know, I'm here. No way on an unbearable pain, but annoying just the same. I'm feeling so confident that I'm feeling really good. I'm hoping my row, because there's a, there's a group of us that uh, we're our own little posse. We always hope that we're winning. And if somebody has a game, we kind of tease them and say, you can't sit in this row. But <laughs> well, we don't mean it. We're just being, we're just being facetious. So, any hooser. All these gym people, you know, they're, they're like supermen. They can walk right in front of a moving car and nobody's going to hit them. I say this every week because every week they do it. I can see that if it's raining or something like it is today, okay, but like when it's a nice beautiful day, just wait. If your life is worth more than worrying about getting into the gym that much quicker, you're going to the gym to save your life. Okay, we are here. We have arrived at your destination and you don't owe me anything. This is the free Uber ride. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, are you ready? Because I'm so happy. I knew I was going to have a great loss, but I didn't believe that it would be so good. I am now back into the 20s. I weigh 227.8, which means I lost 4.4 pounds. I, this challenge, thank you, Gina. It's because of this challenge, because I have to beat your butt, and I did so well. I am now at a total loss of 76.4, which means 0.6 away from my highest loss of 77 pounds. So I'm back on track, I told you. The secret, shh, don't tell anybody. No, tell everybody. This is the secret. I gained, and I know people keep telling me to stop saying it, but I have to keep reminding you. I gained 7.9 pounds in two weeks. And I could have gave up at that point, and I could have said, you know what, you gained 7.9 pounds. You gained eight pounds in two weeks. This, you know, why are you even doing this? Just give up. But in the last two weeks, I have lost 9.7 pounds. Uh, I had two pound gain before that, a 2.4 gain the first week. So like for the month of September, I gained 10.2 pounds. And now I just have to lose Point six, and I'm back to where I started. I didn't give up. I was discouraged. I enjoyed my life, but then I knew I had to get back on track as soon as I could, and I did. And it just shows you that, you know, with determination, you can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it, really, truly. So I'm, I'm on a little bit of a high right now, so I'm going to be really good this week, this weekend, because that's my secret. I was good last weekend. Okay, let's get on with the day. I'll show you my breakfast. Okay, I'm going to have a pretty heavy on the fruit breakfast, but I'm also going to have some oatmeal. 
So today I started my day with a prayer. I drank 60 ounces of water. My quote is, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. Never doubt yourself. I know it's going to be hard weighing yourself every day, and you might see your weight fluctuate, but don't doubt that you're on the right path. Uh, 23 smart points, zero for my berries, grapes, banana, grapefruit, tea, and water. Four points for my half a cup of dry oatmeal, and one point for a quarter cup of 2% milk. It's five points. I have 18 points left for the rest of my day. Okay, Paige Parsons Lewis, you're going to be sorry you asked for this. What would you think if I sang on a tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing out a key. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. Hmm, I get by with a little help from my friends. Hmm, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. Well, after hearing that, Gina, all I can say is you better get off your butt and start moving because I have lots of songs. I've never said I could sing, but that doesn't stop me from singing. So unless you don't want to hear that torture every single day, which I think you're gonna hear every single day. You might not hear it tomorrow because I had a Burger King for my dinner. So I had um, 30 points for my dinner and I'd already used eight and I only get 23, but I get 42 weeklies. So I think I'm pretty set. I had a, a iced tea with it. So I had the cheese whopper and fries and iced tea. It was good. Anyway, today our total loss is 25.7. And here we go. Mimi, Mima M7 lost 1.2. Enza Gardia had a two pound loss for the week. Margaret McGuire lost 4.4, which makes her the biggest winner for today. And she had a 7.8 weight loss this week. That's really great. Susan Pink, 2.8. Juanita Perrin, 0.5. Marque Santella, 0.5. Rosie Murrow, 0.1. Susan Smith had a 2.2 loss this week. Jay Downing had a 1.8. Teresa Taylor, 0.1. Kathy Teep, 1 pound. Uh, Dawn E. Farmer's Wife, 04, lost 0.4. Sunshine Childs, lost 0.3. Becky Fisher, lost 0.6. Kathy Johnson, lost 0.5. Tana Hampton, lost 1.2. LWSO, LW707, lost 1.4. Peggy Rossiter, lost 0.4. Patty M. lost 0.9. Allie Herr, 0.6. Sonia Campos lost 1. Mary Service lost 0.8. SLK lost 3.2 for the week. Brenda Bays, I didn't forget you today, Brenda, 0.2. Judy K. Slovy Sly, 1 pound. Deborah Klungtwevet, you got to tell me how to pronounce your name, has <laughs> lost 1. Deborah, oh no, I already said her. It's lost 0.4. My Well-Rounded Life lost 0.8. Susan Moon lost 1. Mary Ellen Romer lost 2.2. And Tammy over at Healthy Girl lost 2.6 this week. So I only added it up the dailies, and that came to 25.7. But tomorrow I'll add the, the weeklies, because Sunday we're going to do a whole weekly uh, weigh-in to see how we did. Uh, you need to go over to Gina's channel or in... Uh, Carrie's channel. I, I stutter on Carrie all the time because I always want to call her Corey. <laughs> Carrie and Corey. Carrie and Corey. But anyway, I wanted to, you to go over to their channels. I'll leave their links down below. Um, so the big the big loser for the day is Margaret McGuire, 4.4, with, um, let's see who the honorable mention was, was Susan Pink, 2.8. Very good. We're, we're doing really well. Tomorrow I'll let you know our totals for the whole week and how we're doing. Um... I'm going to go to church in the morning. I do plan on putting up another video for the week. I'll give you our weekly totals. We'll see how our team did. Uh, I apologize for my singing. I've never said I could sing. My whole family, all the kids, they all think they're singers. We're not, not one of us. Not one of us is a singer. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. And Carrie, we gotta we got to sing the rest of the week. We're not going to let Gina sing at all. Let's not put her, let her put us to shame.